So I've got two, I've got my front and one of my sides. And my sides have some curve to them, so I'm going to need this to curve to match that. So, again, it's firm but flexible. It still moves. All right, so it's starting to flex there. And now I'm going to cut a beveled edge or a mitered edge. So right now these edges are cut 90 degrees. Okay, they're straight. But now I'm going to go down the edge and cut an angle to this. Now this front side is going to meet the side at 90 degrees. So I'm cutting my bevel at 45 degrees. There's one. And now this needs to line up this way, so I'm going to cut a, a matching 45 degree bevel on this side. And the, mis the easy mistake here is cutting the bevel the wrong direction. So sometimes if I need it here, an accident a lot of people make is cutting it over on this side. So make sure you're cutting it on the right side before you attach it. And I'm not using a protractor, but I'm just carefully cutting the edge so that they fit together. So this is the direction I'm going here. So again, you can see we've got two angles that are going to come together. I do need to score and slip all of this to put it together. This makes the best edge. You could do a butt joint which is 90 degrees to 90 degrees where they just butt up against each other like this instead of at an angle. But that has a much more visible and kind of a weaker seam. So the rest of this process is scoring and slipping, scoring and slipping. Obviously I'm going to cut out the, uh, the back and the other side as well and score and slip all those together. That's how you do it. Thank you.